Greetings to the 30 tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth and to the Gentiles called by the ox of fairy name of Abba Yahuwah Elohim. This is the ox of fairy name that is above all names, eternal. You know my song already. No pop Jesus, no snake Allah. Is Yahuwah horrible sika yaba? No pop Jesus, no snake Allah. Oh, is Yahuwah the only saving name that is above every other name? That is above every other name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Is Yahuwah the only fiery name and that is above every other name, princess? Love Yahuwah, it's okay. So much love Yahuwah, this temple is eternal bond with Yahuwah. The only true living name and that is above every other name. Every other name, uh, every other name, not Pope Jesus, neither snake Allah, or the seeker, but it's Yahuwah, the only oxen name, and that is above every other name. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Is Yahuwah the only awesome name, the only fiery name, the only living name, and that is above every other name forever. Eternal, yes, from everlasting to everlasting. Is the only mighty name, and that is above. Every other name, hallelujah, hallelujah, horrible sika yaba, horrible sika yaba, Yahuwah, sika yaba, sika yaba, Yahuwah, sika yaba, horrible sika yaba, horrible sika yaba, yes, horrible sika yaba, aba. Sika yaba, horrible sika yaba, horrible, horrible sika yaba, hallelujah, horrible sika yaba, yahua, horrible sika yaba, sika yaba, hallelujah, I love you so much, Abba, you know I love you so much, hallelujah, yes, family, Shabbat Shalom, much love and much prosperity attend your family for you are the only reason of our time like truth because the time is simply near just as we see the days goes by so draw nigh the coming of king yahushua hamashiach just as the malak of yehovah saith unto yehukana the revelator see you not the prophecies of this book for the time is simply near. Exactly what we are doing here, family. Decode the end times, prophecy, signs, dreams in. Preparing people like your body, like your house, like you. For the blessed returning of King Yahushua Hamishiach, our eternal bridegroom, to whom do eternally all worship, praise, honor, riches, power, glory. Reba Baba Sikaya Bayesa. Reba Baba Sikaya to the glory of his magnificent Abba, Yahuwah. The Almighty, eternal, like I said before, not for Jesus, come on now, no snake Allah, <laughs> is Yahuwah, oh, Robo Sika, Yaba, not for Jesus, no snake Allah, oh, is Yahuwah, the only fiery name that is above every other name. And that is above every other name so evermore. Everything you see on this planet says so. Everything you can assess with your natural eyes says so. He is the only mighty one. No mammed of. Mm -mm. No mammed. Fuck, Jesus is mammed. Allah is mammed. But Yahuwah is self made Yahuwah. 
Yisef Medi Yahoo. Reba Bobo Sikayapa. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba, that I belongs to you. It's a great glory of me. Ah, what a Sikayapa. It's great glory. Eternal glory. Mmm. Reba Bobo is so sweet. Mmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Namusegbe. Wow. I love my Abba. Yes, And to the Ruach HaKodesh eternal. To the Ruach HaKodesh forevermore. To the Ruach HaKodesh eternally. All glory goes to the Ruach HaKodesh forevermore. Our worship honor goes to the Ruach HaKodesh eternally. Our honor goes. To the Ruach HaKodesh, my eternal husband. To the Ruach HaKodesh, my forever teacher. <laughs> to the Ruach HaKodesh, my eternal best friend. To the Ruach HaKodesh, Lord of the Oh, our glory goes to the Ruach HaKodesh. Ruach HaKodesh, Ruach HaKodesh. Yes, yes, yes. Ruach HaKodesh Seke Yabo Ruach HaKodesh Seke Yabo Sei Ruach HaKodesh Seke Dure Labayo Ruach HaKodesh Seke Yabo Sei Dure Labasei Imo Santa Labu, yes, Imo Yetalabe, Wawa Orobasi Kayabe, Wawa Orobasi Kayabe, Ruaha Kodesh, Wawa Orobasi Kayabe, Orobasi Kayabe, Orobasi Kayabe, Orobasi Hallelujah. I love you so much, Abba. Thank you for giving me your eternal word, King Yahushua Hamishiach. And also thank you so much for giving me your eternal set of spirit. The Ruach HaKodesh. The Ruach HaKodesh. Hallelujah. Love you so much, Abba. Yes, Abba. You have been worshipped, praised. Honored, loved, served, always, ever, eternal, right in the temple of your eternal heart, made your very Isha, for you are my Abba, also my eternal husband. I just love you, Abba. Orobasika, yabe, hallelujah. Orobasika, orobasika, yabe. Orobasika, yabe, yeah, Love you so much. Hallelujah. All right, my family. We want to touch on the dark or on, on, on the dark side of Poco Jesus Christ. Again, like I said last Shabbat, that today we want to look into another vital, you know, information, very important point of these people. So we want to touch on those areas again. Hmm? Here we are. I'm coming. Yes, here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba Yehovah with this powerful message started for you and me. Peter Obi is a sinner. He is not and can never be Holy Prophet Moses. So I stand with President Tenobu. Why not Peter Obi? Why not Peter Obi? Prior to one question, a uh, question one brother asked last two weeks Shabbat, then I told I said to him, I'm gonna be taking that. I will blend it up with another one I have already. Okay, so you, you can see the title about three points. Okay, Peter B says not one point is not is not a holy uh, prophet. Another point. Mm -hmm. I stand with President Tinubu. Another point. Why why am I against Peter? Will be four points. Okay, so let's tie it all together and connect the dots together. Okay, so with this being said, let's start riding, riding, riding on, 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 on my father on the royal law from this very holy passage through every other one. All right, now, family, like I always love to say, it's not sensational, not emotional, 
no radiation or burning, no pressing at all. But by the royal loss objective, we want to put asunder again between the holy prophet and sinners. Because that office is so holy. Like I said, I have nothing absolutely against Peter Obi on a personal level. But when I come to biblical level, prophecy level, of course, I'm every, I have everything against him. I have every single thing against him. When I come to prophecies level, a biblical level, you know, they find people, give people the sin that is not tears. He hurt me to my stomach. In fact, he hurt my stomach. He tore my stomach that I want to throw out. How dare you call a sinner a prophet? How can that be? So I have this one already. I want to blend it up, brother, with the question you ask me. So before we start digging into it, let's start walking our way from this very particular passage. First Peter chapter 3, verses 15. I repeat, First Peter chapter 3, verses 15. Be sanctified. Yahweh Elohim in your heart. That is carry your Yahweh like I do now. Carry Yahweh, your creator, in your heart. Let you occupy your heart. Let it be the chairman in your of your heart. Not you, nothing else. But him and him alone. Sanctify Yahweh in your heart. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So I want to do it now with meekness, with love, and the fear of Yahuwah and humbleness, okay? Yes, through the royal law, through the mindset of the royal law. So let's do these very four points. Because he asked me, what am I engaged with Are you not, are you not hoping for no new Nigeria? I say, who get Peter be pregnant? Who is going to, okay, Peter B is pregnant with new Nigeria? Who gave him that pregnancy? Who gave him belly? Who got him impregnated? Poco Jesus Christ? Can Poco Jesus Christ indeed deliver? <laughs> so why couldn't Poco Jesus Christ give him pregnancy when he was a Anabra? governor for a whole eight years so Pope jesus christ didn't see him that time so you couldn't deliver anabra one state you want to deliver the entire nigeria we are coming into that how dare you how do you give him that pregnancy peter will be pregnant with new nigeria moses was pregnant with yazrael and we see how he delivered he gave birth today carried it through red sea through great signs and wonders did you see any in Peter Obi, did you see any? Please, you people should stop provoking me, eh? Because each time I come into this matter, it's always turning my stomach. So now, brother, I'm ready now to answer your question. Agali eva guame teme re. Agali eva guame teme no eme teme no. Agali eva guame teme re. Agali eva guame teme no no jose. Agali eva guame teme no. It just no get let there. Uli eva guane. Uli eva guane. Uli eva guane. Wokba. Agali eva guame teme no. Agali eva guame teme re. Me teme no. Agali eva guame teme re. No yo se. Agali eva guame teme no. No yo se. Agali eva guame teme no. I just no gile de. Uli eva guane. <laughs> when you begin to speak from your th uh, two supposed hole, <laughs> you're gonna be shame and disgraceful. Can you imagine? You are talking from your mouth before you know it. Your anus is also talking. Ah, no wanna be shameful. <laughs> ah, your mouth is making proper pa before you know your anus. It pa, <laughs> it to. <laughs> That is what Jesus is doing. Why is he doing that? From one mouth and from his anus. Tony is going to be the president. 
No, 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 not to the book. Oh, Peter Obi. Oh, no, 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 Peter Obi. Oh, he's a tickle. And um, come on now, this should have been. Let's let joke apart. This, should, no, no, I'm not even joking at all. This should have been a very, you know, serious case. You should have taken this one upon yourself and say, No, these people has been making big fool of me. I want to know what is going on. Have you know, are, are you not wondering? Is this not surprising you? Is this indeed actually not a case on you? For you to be, you know, provoked, provoked, be provoked in your spirit and say, come on now, enough has to be enough. Why? These people is making big full of humanity. For what reason? How can three people, uh, three candidates, and the same, all oh, the pastors is prophesying for three candidates at the same time? Peter B is going to win. Tinobu is going to win. Hatiko is going to win. Let's say 70 percent, not just let's say 70 percent of Christian pa pastors professor that is going to be Peter Obi. Why? Because they saw Peter Obi was pulling really crowd of the youth. It was the youth was really, really in his side. Okay, all of them are just rushed there and begin to profess about that. Be their proto prata, he proto proto. They now begin to speak from their two supposed oaths. Agali eva guamete no. Yes. Big shame and disgrace. No, this should have helped you to put on your thinking cap. This should have helped you to be so serious in your heart. This should have helped you to raise your questioning and turn a high to the cloud and say, wait a minute, what is going on? Are they not serving the same God? Are they not calling on one Jesus? Why are they against each other? Why is this one prophesying against this and the other one prophet? Why is their prophecy not in line? Um, why is their prophecy not one? Why is three, ah, these three candidate 70 percent prophesy jesus is on one side 70 percent on the other side 20 percent on the other side 10 percent in the side of tinubu okay let me tell you that the 20 percent people now tinubu they are rejoicing but the 70 percent they are in shame and disgrace because they are spoken from the two holes the 10 percent they are also in shame and disgrace because article did not go nowhere and they win huh but what are we saying but this should have be an offense to your spirit. I said enough must be enough. These people have been making big full of me. What is going on? Look at your most respected pastors. These are your most respected pastor by you. Look at the John Suleiman said, God said there is no vote February 25th. Huh? So this should have be an offense to you. You said oh, no. But these are the people you carry so much in your heart that they are teaching you the ways of your of Boko Jesus heaven. Hey, they are misbehaved, they are being widely being disgraced. They are telling lies. They profess lies. The only criteria given unto you to know a false prophet, and yet you are not getting it. You still endorse them, you are still with them, you still justify them. You are saying in your heart they are just men. How can that be? Therefore, men can only demand. We are all sinners. You don't have no holy prophet. For you to depend on something that is not. That is so annoying to me. Okay, It's an offense in my spirit. So now, having said this. Brother, now I'm ready now to answer your question. Why am I against Peter? But Peter B is a sinner. Okay, It's a sinner. It's a sinner. It's a sinner. It's a sinner. Mm. Sinner cannot say sinner. Like sinner cannot cannot judge sinner. You cannot be breaking the royal law and you will be pointing finger. No. By his grace I live for the royal law. Okay? So sinner cannot redeem you. God Yahweh forbid do. Sinner will come and say want to redeem you. Eh? What happened to Holy Yahuwah? That no sense now. That one don't make no sense. Now, uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, I've done this before, maybe you didn't listen to it, because you came to my inbox, that, uh, why am I against Peter B? Am I not hoping for a new Nigeria? 
I say, come on now. I don't know who got who got Peter will be, will be pregnant because Peter will be he have no pregnancy at all of a new Nigeria. He only he, he only pregnant he only impregnate himself or rather Jesus impregnate him with Euro beer company. That is all. Ogogoro company, Ogogoro master. Now listen. Habakkuk chapter two verses fifteen through sixteen. What to him who gives who gives strong who give drinks to his neighbors, pouring pouring it from the wine skin till they are drunk, so that he can guess on their nakedness. Sixteen. You will be filled. This is here. I was speaking now. You say you that give ogogoro to people. Listen. You will be filled with shame instead of glory. Now it is your turn. Drink and be exposed. The cup from Yahuwah's hand, right hand, is coming around to you, and disgrace will cover your glory. Do you see how Abba Yahuwah, how much Abba Yahuwah hates Ogogoro alcohol? He hates it so much. He said, You give it, like me, I don't drink and I cannot give it to nobody. You are pouring alcohol in people's stomach. He said, you, To make them naked. You know, so people that is so drug addicted, that is so sold so into this alcohol, they can use their food salary to buy alcohol. And when they also got drunk, you know how they misbehave on the street. Some will be vomiting, thrown out. You are seeing their nakedness in that manner. But Abba was saying, he himself is going to take his stand against you. Why? Because you gave alcohol to people. And Obi have a Euro company called Euro Beer. So how can you call that one a holy word? A prophet. They does him so hard. Some call him sacrificial lamb of heaven. I can't even imagine myself a pastor would be calling a sinner a sacrificial lamb. How come? Some call him right hand of God. How can Obi be a hand of God? How? How possible is that? I'm not getting it. It turns my stomach. It makes me throw out. It provokes my spirit to the highest of the cloud. The other one said that uh, what they are, a, a blameless man will be a blameless man. The person that is giving a call to people who says so will be a blameless man. But you see the judgment from whosoever that give a call to people. Okay, now let's see. And you see the judgment and you see the penalty. It is Abaya White said taking a stand against whosoever that do that wickedness. I don't drink and I don't give to people. Huh? And you don't you deck endorse this one? Now listen, Proverbs chapter 20, verses 1. One is a mocker. Did you see that? How a one is a mocker? Go and read Genesis. And now, a mighty man that survived a flawed judgment. When I buy your wife, judgment beats and kills the whole world mercilessly. The only man that survived it. What, what happened to him? Alcohol disgracing. Look at Genesis 19 also. Lot, a man that also survived nation's judgment. Sodom and Gomorrah. So what happened? Alcohol also disgraced him. That he got drunk and had sexual intercourse with his own two daughters. Did you get that? Alcohol indeed is a mocker. And this is what Peter will be is packing on people's stomach. Now listen. Proverbs chapter 20 verses 1. One is a mocker. Strong drink is rangy. It's so violent. Is the hunger of serpent? Is the hunger of destruction? How violent is alcohol? When you get drunk, carry your car and enter the road. You're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. And whosoever is deceived by a uh, is not wise. So what is the nature of alcohol? A deceiver. So be you are a deceiver. So this is the reason why I'm against him. Now, where, where I am here in this Europe, everything worked fine. There was a time when I seek asylum. Government will pay me money every month, 950, 950 euros. 950 euros every month. So I'm, I'm going to, with that, I will be deified there. With that, I will just spiritualize it. With that, I will say, this is God. This is the hand of God. This is a Messiah. No, let, leave politicians alone to do their things. There is, there, there is no harmoniously between politicians and people of the Bible. Put Obi where he is. 
He's, he's a sinner. He's a man of the world. He, he lives in the world. He's a worldly people. Let him, let him be. Just let him be. You don't defy him. A Messiah. A God hand. A, la a sacrificial lamb. One also use one. F oh, that language also hurt my stomach. That one say, Epita will be the way he's going to deliver Nigeria. This is the way he's going to give birth to a new Nigeria. It's going to be if I perish, I perish. That is our language. So when he, ruled, when he first of all ruled in Anabra, why did he perish if I, why did he use that standoff? If I perish, I perish. Why didn't he first of all make Anabra a small London in Nigeria? For us to see as a testimony. So Ogogoro is a mocker. So let's go into another one. Now you can also read Proverbs chapter 31 verses 4 through 7. He said, let alcohol be given to them. Okay, let me quickly read it. We don't justify alcohol, no. No, be that is packing a good for people's belly. Say, sinner. Listen. Proverbs 31, verses 4 through 7. It is not for, a, for kings, oh, Lamuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for prince strong drink. Five. List the drink and forget the law and pervert judgment of any of the afflicted. When, you know when you drink, feel the things is going to be coming into your mind. That is where fornication lies. That is where you can do something so foolishly. Stupid things. Six. It's going to be constituting nuisance when you drink. That is the power of alcoholism. Six. Give strong drink unto them that is ready to perish. So who is supposed to be drinking alcohol? People that is sentenced to destruction. And one unto them that be of heavy hearts seven let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more really that is how the, you see the fool or the big fool alcohol is going to be making of you make it out of you that you are poor as soon as you enter into alcohol and you you know you're going to be see yourself as the richest man on earth that is how stupid alcohol is going to make you look like that is how foolish it's going to make you look like and this is what this guy is packing on people's stomach and you they call him a sacrificial lamb to who? And you don't, you they call him the hand of God who? Who is God? Which God are you people talking about? You they call this one a prophet Moses. How come? What where is the attributes of a prophet? Now read Exodus chapter 3. We're down to chapter 20. If you are lovers of truth, you want to know the truth. Remember, he says, Ye shall know the truth. And only the truth shall set you free. To be set free from the bondage of lies, you need to unlearn the lies you, you, you once be fed with, with the truth. So the royal law is there to do that for you. So now, come on, read it. Gen uh, Exodus chapter 3, we head down to chapter 20. And see how prophet Moses delivered, got pregnant with the people of the book. And how he gave birth to them through signs and wonders. He never for no one reason or years in any form take or took or take a pharaoh to any court never rather he took pharaoh to a spiritual court because it was spiritual matter you don't treat spiritual things with physical or be higher how many lawyers are fighting the case everything a court is now his house he must be present every blessed day so determined but why if you were in the a, you were when he was a governor in Anabra, why did he you know make Anabra at least we will see the testimony from there? The sign should have been there. He said this sign shall follow them that believe. We see Prophet Moses in chapter three, or rather chapter three or two, three or two. Okay. This sign follows him that he is a redeemer, he's a messiah typology. His heart goes for his people. He refused to be, you know, enjoy the wealth of the Egyptian f for the sake of his people. What happened when one of the Egyptians had struck uh, the Hebrew man? What happened? Moses, as soon as he was being told, he killed that Egyptian. He killed, he killed him. How dare you touch an Hebrew man? Are you mad? He killed him because that is this man. From there, the signs follow him. And we see that at the end of all, in the Red Sea, he killed all the Pharaoh, 
Pharaoh burst out being, oh, the warriors of Egypt, he buried them, all of them in the Red Sea. As he commanded the Red Sea, throw the power of heaven, go back to your stand. And the Red Sea covered all of them. And when we now also come to Exodus chapter 16, what did he do? Eh, there was no food. He provided manna. What is, how dare you compare Peter Obi to Moses? Sometimes I wonder, is these people indeed a prophet or who are they? Are they pastor? What are these people doing with our book? I can't, as I, I can, I'm not getting it, Yahuwah. What is this pork eating people doing with our book? They should drop the Bible for Yahuwah's sake. For the sake of the elect, because it's killing me. It's, 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 it's drowning me. Sometimes I shed tears. When I see how Christians handle our book, it makes me cry. Because the Bible is our inheritance. It is the eternal mirror from where I see who I am. How can one pay people, some group of people, we just come and be making full of our book, letting the whole world to believe that the Bible is not man made up. Jesus talked from his two holes. Peter will be. But all these things should have been a, a thing that is going to be raising this alarm in your spirit. Are they serving one God? Are they not serving the same Jesus? Why is their prophecy against each other? That is the one I'm going to do now. If not the final one. It's the one I'm going to do now. So let's put some scriptures. So brother, when you listen to this, now you see why I'm against Peter will be okay. On a personal, a personal level, no. But when I come to biblical standard, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm against him in every ways. Okay, in every ways. Now, read, read Numbers chapter 12. You're going to see when Aaron and Maria speak against Moses, Abba Yahweh sit judgment right away. He struck Maria with prophecy for a whole seven days. That is prophet. You dare not cut you. You don't, you, you dare not play games around. The man of Yehovah. How come if uh, uh, what, is, what is this name? Peter Obi is a Moses like to come and deliver Nigeria. Yet I next stood on the way. Eh? I bet you what did not see judgment. Rather, it is court judge, lawyer, fighting. He's using trailer of uh, 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 carry some uh, load to a court every day. Court is now his house. Eh? Yahweh is not striking. He didn't could strike a neck. He could strike a Tunubu. He could strike a PC. Una de Chris. What are you what, what are you taking us for? No, this pork Jesus, you think everybody is a fool? We don't know our father's name anymore. Are you mad? What kind of nonsense is that? I take this so personal. How tell you? We don't know our father anymore. We don't know what he can do and what he cannot do. How tell you? Say, Mariam was a prophetess. Aaron is another high priest. They spoke against prophet Moses. What happened? How about you were to judgment right away? He couldn't endure it. Say, you are not afraid to speak against my prophet. Eh? So, Tinubu, speak against my prophet. You see how miserable. How miserable. You that believe Peter B is pregnant with Nina. Who got him pregnant? A lady, Pork Jesus. Therefore, he's, he's, called, he's being impregnated by a lady and he's going to give birth to a lady, to pig. He will, give birth to, he will give birth to pig. Why? Because it is pig that got him impregnated. He's not giving birth to no lamb, no sheep, but pig, lady, or cleanliness. Now, I want to start, we want to do another part now. I'm done, it's a sinner. Come on now, get out of the way. Now let's say Arab Apostle chapter 1 verses 8. But ye shall receive power. After that the Ruach HaKodesh is come upon you. And ye shall be witness unto me. Both in Jerusalem and in all Judea. And in Samaria. And unto the uttermost part of the earth. So why are we here? Now the sign should have, should have followed you. That sign that you are a Moses. Or a Messiah. Or a sacrificial lamb. Or whatever whatever you call yourself. You should have. Because the reason why my guest Peter will be so big. He has never come one day to want those people stop on stop 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 defying me, stop calling me. I'm not who you said I am. I'm just a normal human being like you. Yeah, he is enjoying all those titles. 
Whereby you know you don't possess no attribute of those title. Nah. Okay, no break it You and you are enjoying it. Now that sign, what are we say? Say this sign shall follow them that believe. Okay now. You first of all root for your eight years in Anabra. You could have turned Anabra to a small London in Nigeria. That that everybody will, you know, begin to see what you do. All governor will not begin to emulate you. All governor will not begin to, yes, yes, now begin to pick from you. How you fix Anabra. How you turn Anabra into a small London. For a whole eight years, you couldn't do nothing. Anabra is still like every other, every other state in Nigeria. There's nothing, you know, a, a, a special that you make there that have never existed in Nigeria. So you couldn't give birth to Anabra, Soma Anabra. It is the entire nation you want to give birth to. He that is faithful with little that is being given, he will also be faithful when you give money. The little that they gave to you, couldn't turn it to a small London. You could, you couldn't turn it to Canada. You couldn't turn it to any Europe. Any little to you fly Europe, any little to you fly, fly Europe. Why did you carry the European system to Anabra? So that people will also emulate from you. They will follow your step. Every other governor will learn from you. You see good, good things in Europe, you always fly to. Eh? You couldn't bring any of it. Because you said this anointing is going to start from Yerushalayim. If you were a, indeed a, 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 like prophet, whatever, or the, this title, we should have seen that sign from Anabra as you rude because it said this anointing will start from the Arushalai. Deliverance will start from there. You will that your God will first of all use to deliver the entire Anabra. Anabra will not become a Europe. That we will not be running to Anabra to seek asylum. We couldn't see any of that. So you couldn't do that small one. It is the entire Nigeria. I beg go sit down, man. Then I stop this nonsense. It's so annoying. Now let's see what happened. And our apostle chapter 10, verses 25 through 26. And as Peter was coming in, Colonius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. You hear what people say? But Peter took him up, saying, Stand up. I myself also am a man. People is calling you, they fight you. Peter Obi has never for once, for any reason, to come out to address that part. You want to tell me? You don't hear it, but you, <laughs> yes, daddy, amen, daddy. It's a, it's, it's, it's a religious word, daddy. Everything begin to daddy, daddy, day. Now that you daddy, 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 where this case come like this, have you ever seen Peter be return back to the daddy and say, uh, the Bible says, uh, in every situation we should give thanks to God? Why did you go and thank God? Do, we, do you see him anymore in, in Christian gathering? Why did you go? <laughs> But the Bible says in every circumstance you need to give thanks unto Yahuwah. Why didn't you go and give thanks and celebrate and say, hey, hey, whatever, whatever. Do you see where, Fe where Pharaoh being dragged to court? Do you see where Moses hired no any lawyer? Moses did it so through supernatural powers, great signs and wonders. So you want to tell me with this uh, a woman voice, that is how you want to deliver Nigeria. You couldn't deliver Anabra. It's the entire Nigeria you want to deliver. You could you we are not faithful in the little one they give to you. It's the entire Nigeria you want to come and deliver. I beg, I say go and sit down. Ah. Now this another apostle, Apostle Paul, we read that the character because they are no materialism. Obi is materialism. I wear one show, I wear one this thing. I beg men I stop this lie. It's not good. Out of Apostle chapter 14, verses 11 through 15, when the people saw that Paul had, when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voice, saying, In the speech of, okay, Laodicea, the gods are come down to us in the likeness of man. When did they see the great signs and wonders Paul did, they say, Indeed, this is God. He has come down in the form of man to save us. 12. And they called Barnabas. Jupiter and Paul, okay, because he was the chief speaker, 13. Then the prince of Jupiter, oh my father, which was before their city, brought, okay, oxen and uh, guidelines uh, guide lines unto the gate, and when they have their sacrifice with the people, 14, which when the apostles, Balaam, uh, uh, Bala, uh, oh my father, 
Barnabas and Paul held off, they rent their cloth and run in, uh, in among the people, crying out and saying, Sir, why do you hear these things? We also are men of like prisoners with you and preach unto you that ye should turn from this Vanities unto the living Yahuwah, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are therein. So, do you see where Paul said he did? They worship, they even make sacrifice because they say it's a God. Did you see? He tore his cloth, he rent his cloth, he tear them. I say, Hey, these people want to kill me. How dare you put me in the stew of God? I'm just a man like you. Obi has never come out for one day to deny all this title. He's enjoying it. Look at the one that had the passion of Christ. Christian now began to use all his picture, the most popular one. Uh, what they call it, uh, Robert Powell. They now begin to use it to, in, the, in their churches everywhere. They say, even I also saw uh, Omoto Fufu in Nekomoto, Jeremiah's Nekomoto Fufu in the other day in their Easter. He also put, he brought out that picture of uh, Robert Powell. Christians put it in their church, in their house, in their business place, everywhere, praying to it. That man came by and said, please stop. I'm not the one that goes to the cross. I'm just making, you know, acting for a living. I'm an actor. That man rejected that call. But Obi has never come out for once to reject it. He's enjoying it. Revelation 19 verses 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the uh, testimony of Yahushua. Worship Yahuwah for the testimony of Yahuwah, of Yahushua is the spirit of prophecy. When the Holy Spirit, when, excuse me, not Holy Spirit, when some when angel begin to reveal the worthy backward of the elect, uh, of the elect unto John, the revelator, what happened? When I saw how wonderful that word is, but he fell on his feet to worship the angel that revealed it unto him. And that angel that says, stop, because we are not materialism. Don't, don't even try it. I'm a servant like you. Worship Yahuwah. As Obi for one day come out to renounce all this title. No. Whereby he knew too well. He never possessed no attribute of all these things they are calling him. He has not even one qualification. He's a sinner. Let's see what Abba Yawa is doing to glory stealer. The people that is taking glory that never do them. Arab Apostle chapter 12, 19. And when Herod had sought for him, no, I'm not going to be ready there. 20. And Herod was highly displeased with them of, oh, no, no, where is it? Okay, 21. And upon a set, uh, a set day, Herod, arranged in royal apparel, sat, uh, sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them 22 and the people gave a shout saying it is the voice of a god and not of a man mm -mm. 23 and immediately the uh, angel of Yahweh smote him because he gave not Yahweh the glory and he was eating of worms and gave up their ghost this is the judgment of people that is taking seat. You heard it is a very dangerous, dangerous thing for Christian to be doing, whereby they know the consequences. Calling a sinner a Messiah, calling a sinner a sacrificial lamb, calling a sinner a, a hand of God, calling a sinner a, 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 a blameless. It is a very, they are putting heavy judgment upon Peter. Will be like I said before, but they don't know. But neither do this man come out to renounce all this title. Whereby you know you don't you don't possess no qualification, no attribute of all these things. You don't have it, yet you retain it. It is judgment coming, eh? Now let's see why I stand with President Sinobu. Luke chapter 18, verses 10 through 40. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a public uh, publican. Uh, 11. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are. Extortioners, unjust, adulterous, or even at this, even as this, you know, Republican task collector 12. I, fed, I fast twice in the week. I give a thanks of all that I possess. 13. And this is, this is Peter Obi. Because he does stay. He's righteous. He's blameless. 
Hey, no, 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 no. He's pregnant with pork. He's gonna deliver pork. Eh, 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 eh. He's so, you know, righteous. He's, he's not like Tinubu, a drug baron, a thief, a beautiful gate to be slain from people. I'm not like him. Oh. Me, I'm so gentle. I only possess two clothes and two shoes. You see, this marriage wristwatch is the only one I have. I don't have time for materialism. Mm -hmm. I'm not the one uh, choose to carry <laughs> in Nigeria. You, you say you have been justified. Tinubu, he's a drug baron. He's a amuraba. He's a killer. Now listen. Why I stand with him? 13. And the publican, standing far off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but, uh, but, smote, upon his, but, uh, but smote upon his breast, saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house, justified rather than the other. For every one that exalt himself shall be abased or humbled, and he that humbled shall be exalted. So this one, I'm with Tunubu. Tunubu is a sinner. If he have any opportunity, because he is all, he has never been spiritualized. He is all. Nobody ever call him a prophet. Or a messiah or a blameless. They, you, you know what you did to that old man. You know how you mocked him. You know how you swear for him. You know how you prayed against him. You know how you hate him. Some pastor even came out and said, I hate him. They came out to be saying all kinds of trash. So it's only just it's, it's, it's on a it's, a, it's, a, it's on a neutral ground, very natural ground of a sinner. That eventually. If Abbey what touches that, he can repent. But you see, for the appeal is the other one. I fast two times. I only have two clothes. Uh, to this one. You see me, I don't have time. Little liars. I want to round, round up with this. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 5. Abba, you want to make it so clear. Woe unto you if you put your trust in me. Because it said the harm of me can fail you. That is correct. That is correct. I don't put my trust in Tunubu. I don't put my trust in any person at all. I trust in Yehovah. Isaiah 30 verses 1 through 3. Isaiah 31 verses 1 through 3 also. It says you, you, you go to Egypt to seek for help. This one is an Egyptian. Who is Egyptian? Politician. Pharaoh. They are all the same. Put them in their stand. Put to, uh, what, is, what is this name it will be? It's a politician. Just leave him. Let him be. He's not a miser. He don't have anything that has like Bible in him. If he have it. He can't give people alcohol. He will know the judgment. He will understand the judgment. He will know the damages. He will, and he will also know the danger of giving people alcohol. He won't even try it. So I'm done now. Thank you, Abba. Love you so much. Next Shabbat, I will do one more. By now, best, as I know best, it could be the final. Why are they prophesying against each other? Why are they not saying one thing? Tinubu, uh, Atiku, uh, Peter Obi, uh, one God do is really three candidates at the same time through his servants. So that could be the last one for now. Thank you, Abba. I love you so much. So Peter Abi says now let him be. So this is the reason why I'm against Peter Abi. Brother, now you understand. Yes, that's true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba.